Good evening, friends. I am fresh out of the shower, and I uh, wanted to talk to you about another book review. Just finished another book. This one is called Prosper, Create the Life You Really Want by Ethan Willis and Randy Garn. And I got to tell you, this may be my new favorite book, um, really. There's a book, actually, well, I'll just tell you this now. There's a book that I read every October. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, and I can't see myself, so... I I don't know where. Anyway, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker, Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth. This is a book that was handed to me in October of 2007 by a woman named Dina Parkman. Uh, she handed it to me in October of 07. I read it. I read it in two sittings. Immediately fell in love with it. I, then I made a commitment, though. The point was, I made a commitment to buy this book every October, reread it and then give that copy away. This is my original copy from my library where I've got a lot of stuff in here, some things that I wrote, and then here's the list. So 2007, Dina to me. In 2008, I passed it on to my friend Wade, then Lakeisha, and then Jake, then Ryan, and then Natalie. So what I do is every year I buy the book again and um, reread it, and then I'll pass it on to someone uh, asking them if they would read it and then pass it on to someone else to kind of keep it going out there. And I, I, I thought that I would do that with this book until, at least until I am a millionaire and then reevaluate from there. But then I read this book in October knowing that I'm about to read this one next and do that whole thing. And then as I'm getting into it, I gotta say, um, I, this book really resonates with me in a lot of ways. So anyway, I did make some notes here, so let me, let's get focused. Focus. We don't want to make this a six, seven minute video. It needs to be two or three minutes. In and out. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so this is from the book. I'm reading from the book. Uh, we see prosperity as multidimensional. We, when you are happy, when you have enough money and are at peace with how you are earning that money, this leads to the sustainable state we describe as prosperity. Balancing these three things, money, happiness, plus sustainability, uh, leads to prosperity. Prosperity that we value depends on creating income consistent with our inner selves, our core selves, with our core selves. Without that, no amount of external compensation can fully make us happy. So the, our definition is represented by the, the following equation. Money plus happiness plus sustainability equals Prosperity. Money is not, as has been asserted, the root of all evil. It is the want of money that is the problem. And by want, we're talking both of the desperation for and the constant unfulfilled need for money. It's the want of money, in other words here. Uh, the lesson of history is that it's the love of money above what we truly value that creates misery. And then I, I put in the notes here, in other words, don't compromise your virtue or your value for your money. And of course, if you're a Jim Rohn fan, you heard Jim Rohn in there. Uh, don't compromise your virtue or your value. No. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, I like this. Because of the book Prosper, uh, obviously one would think that it is about money. So it says here, money is a key concept of this book. If it wasn't, then this might as well just be another book about happiness. This is not a book about happiness. It's, a, it's about how money interacts with our lives and how we spend our days and efforts earning it. This book is less about a means to an end, the money, and more about the means and whether your true potential and passions are being fully engaged in the process. That's where that sustainability comes in. You know, you can't have... Um, money as your motivation. If you're going to work for the pursuit of money, well, that's certainly at least a challenge to happiness, right? I mean, that's, we could at least say that. Uh, this book talks about what they call prosperity point. Oh, excuse me, your Polaris points, which is your envisioned future of what you aspire to become, to achieve, to contribute, to create, and how all that relates to money. So it talks about your prosperity point, which is really cool. Now let me click on over. Oh, what did I just read? What was I just doing? Okay, page 8. Yeah, I didn't get lost. All right, so page 17. There's another part here. Uh, so it's got the part here on the top of the book says, Six Practices to Finding Lasting Money and Happiness. It's got six practices. 
which are outlined here in the chapter. I just want to hit these real quickly. One, locate your Polaris point. Uh, and then it talks about what your Polaris point is. Basically, by your Polaris point, we mean the ultimate destination that guides you, that inspires you when you're making progress, and that writes you when, you're, when you get off course. It's the sparkle that lights your way in the dark. And it talks about how in astronomy, there's but one Polaris, otherwise known as the North Star. Among the billions of stars, it is unique in that it is the beacon most nearly aligned with the north spin of the axis of the Earth. As the Earth turns, star's constellation moves to the sky, but not Polaris. It stays fixed in the sky relative to Earth, and at any time it can be seen, uh, true north is revealed. Uh, the result has guided travelers since the dawn of human history. So th that's the idea of your Polaris point. It's, it's uh, what I had here on the phone was, um, how did I say it? It's your envisioned future. Well, and then said more, but let's just leave it at that. So your Polaris point. The next one is live in your prosperity zone. Earn from your core. Start with what you already have. Commit to your prosperity path. Take profound action. So that's the six uh, prosperity practices that they talk about here. Prosperity zone, page 33. And I'm trying to rush through this because I feel like I'm already rambling on. On and on and on and on and on. While I look for Welcome to the prosperity zone. The prosperity zone is when you are able to find your area of balance with money, happiness, and state sustainability. In other words, you are in the prosperity zone when you are living your best life, when what makes you money makes you and other people happy, when work doesn't seem like work at all, and when you enjoy every waking moment. Your prosperity zone is the place where what you love to do more than anything in the whole world also makes you money. You stay in your prosperity zone by working from your core and doing what you love. That's what's up. Uh, okay, page 43, my last one. And then I will cut this video off because I know we gotta be in the five minute, six minute range now. Earn from your core. Your core consists of three elements, your values, your sense of purpose, your unique set of abilities, talents, and passions. Mm -hmm. Passion and profit actually mix. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it talks about earning from your core, the core of who you are, the core of what you want um, to do in this life. You know, what, what is it that, that feeds you? Um, you know, that's, that's earning from your core, not, not just paper chasing. Anyways, I've rambled on a while. I at least hit... All right, so here's the point. Prosper. Uh, create the life you really want. This is a book that um, I will, re -re will personally reread several times. Um, it is a book that I've already got a couple people in mind for that I want to buy a couple copies and hand, it, hand this book to. And um, I think it's going to replace... I'm reading this one now, though. So anyway, I reread this one every October. And uh, I'm this far into it now. I just started it this evening. Uh, I don't know, page 48 into it right now. And I'll finish in the next couple of days, a couple sit sit-downs. And... Um, I don't know if this is the one that I want to pass on or if it's this one now. So, either way, excuse me. Prosper, create the life you really want. Fantastic book. Highly recommend it. Go get it. Read it or don't. Whatever. Anyway, that's my commitment to do a video on the books that I finished. And that's another book that I finished. So, talk to you later, kids. Bye-bye.